to From the Court to the Kitchen. I'm Marty Embry, and I got a special treat for you guys today. Everybody wants to know, how do I make my Coney Dogs? Today, we're going to learn how to make it, and it's really simple, simple ingredients. We're going to use, of course, Kobo Hot Dogs, and then we have our special Coney Sauce Spice Mix that I developed while I own my own Coney um, Island restaurant. And then I'm going to serve some nice seasoned fries on the side, seasoned only with this delicious seasoning sauce that I also developed. Um, not too much to make in Coney Dogs, you just have to have the right spices. And when I said these are going to be authentic, authentic Flint style Coney Dogs, absolutely, believe me. First order of business is we're going to put two tablespoons of oil in our skillet. Now you can use whatever oil you would like to use. That's olive oil, virgin olive oil. That's just my preference, but you can use vegetable oil or whatever peanut oil. It doesn't matter, whatever your preference is. And you're going to drop your onion in that, in that skillet and let it kind of become soft, translucent. And by the time that's finished, we should have our meat mixture completed. So right now we're going to get over here and chop up some onions. Now, while chopping and dicing these onions, they, you can pretty much do it how you prefer, but because my hands are so big and I'm new at this stuff, I got to find a way that's comfortable for me. So I'll cut it down the middle initially and then one time down the middle. And as you see, you already have it kind of diced naturally. So from that point, it's pretty much, and again, folks, use caution when chopping and cutting and make sure you tuck those fingers out of the way. Uh, get you some nice slices going. and get it all ready for that uh, nice hot oil that's going to be sauteing these little suckers away. And so this is about all that you need, about a quarter cup. The rest of the onion we're going to use to actually top the Coney Dog. Now I'm going to show you how fast this actually goes. We're going to drop the onion into our skillet. And by the time this is finished, by the time we're finished with the onion, our meat mixture is going to be done. Now while my onions are in the bag doing their thing, mix thing we have to do is get the meat ready and this is real simple this is just a ground chuck 80 20 blend and we're going to use one and a half cups of warm water you don't want it too hot nice and warm and then we're going to use four tablespoons of the coney spice mixture Now the next thing we do is mix this up. You got the four tablespoons of the Coney Spice with a cup and a half of warm water. And you're going to mix it by hand. Now the best way to do this is to mix it and squeeze the meat mixture through your fingers. And you want to do that until it's nice and fine. But by the time you finish mixing this meat up, those uh, onions should be nice and translucent. You don't want to burn the onions, so if you have to, just turn the, uh, the heat down off of it just to slow up the cooking process. Okay, now that's the completed mixture. Now all we do is take this over, and as you can see, the onions are talking to me. They, they want what's due, which is this Coney Spice, this Coney Spice Mix, this good old fashioned Coney Dog mixture. You're just gonna mix that up nice and good, and then now it's just gonna simmer. Turn it down to a medium heat. And you can see already that those flavors are coming out. The meat is finally done because you started squeezing it through your fingers. And you have to have this consistency to have a good coney sauce, especially when you're talking about topping a good hot dog. Now I'm going to drop my burger down which is going to be a, a half pound monster of a Coney burger and it's simple to do. I know a lot of folks they say that oh I do the greatest burgers but burgers are nothing that's hard to do but you can mess them up very easily. So I want to show you how I do my burgers to keep them nice and juicy and moist and once it's topped with that uh, Coney sauce whew, 
floor heavy. That's, I just had a moment. Now watch how simple it is to make this good burger quickly and it's going to remain juicy. So the first thing I did was drop a little bit of oil into my pan. Now you want to get a wave going in that pan before you put the meat on it because you want to get a good sear going. And from that, you know you're going to seal in those flavors quickly. And then you can turn your heat down. And right now I'm starting to get my, my ripples. So now I actually season that. And I'm only using my seasoning sauce. It's going to have a little blackening in it because I can also use the spice as a blackening mix. Now I'm not touching the meat at all. I'm going to take my container and just drop my ball in. Okay, this happens in the kitchen. Pull it together. Quickly. That wasn't supposed to happen like that, but it did. And as a cook, you adjust. Sprinkle on top some of those spices. And you can use whatever spices you like, but make sure you use enough so you can flavor everything. And in a nutshell, that's it. I'm going to let that get a sear. I'm going to wash my hands and show you how to flip it and let it sear on the other side. And shortly after that, again, burger heaven. Now my burger is still doing the same, but I think I'm ready to turn it. And I hope that it doesn't fall apart. And if it does, oh well. When you cook, you improvise. This is going to be fine. Not staying together like I want, but it's not going to hinder the flavor, guaranteed. Now I'm going to let this finish up. I turn my heat down. Now I'm going to let the burger cook all the way through and then set it to the side until my coney spice is ready to get to top that burger. And I'm telling you, this is, this is one of the best burgers I've ever had. Okay, so now everything is about to come together. I have my fries set her down. Another seven, eight minutes for that. My burger is resting. My coney spice is just humming away. And now I'm going to show you guys how to actually make a coney style dog. And it's not what you think. To make a Flint style coney dog, the first thing you have to do is make that skillet. Get it to the point where it's hot and smoky. And you're going to lay your dog down because these dogs are, vir are virtually cooked already. And all you need is water. Pour some water in. And as the water steams out, it's warming up and cooking that dog. You let it cook all the way down, and then once it's slightly browned on the other side, you just flip it, and two minutes later, it's done. Pictures of birds, no longer daydreaming, the meat getting chips. I got this dog, we rich. I can't wait. Give him one flip. Add more water. Coney sauce is complete. Correct consistency. Now if you ever have a problem with your coney meat being too dry, just add more water. Add a quarter cup at a time and for every quarter cup, add a teaspoon of your coney sauce. The french fries are done. Now I'm going to drop those and put some of that nice uh, seasoning salt on and then tie the whole meal together. Take them home. Nice color. You're going to use roughly about a tablespoon of the coney sauce for each dog. And if you want more, of course, it's your coney dog. Put as much as you like. Okay, we're going to take the coney spice or the coney sauce. And I like it, so I'm going to put about two tablespoons on. And also one strip of mustard. And then as much onion as you like. 
And what is a coney without onion? Fries in season. Now we have a complete plate. That's what I call a gorgeous coney dog. And now for the burger. We're going to basically do the same thing with the burger. Um, top it with the coney sauce in the same way. And you can see that I didn't change the burger. It's dark, it looks dark, but that's because of my lighting, but it's still very tender. And you just slather as much sauce as you like. Hopefully not as messy as I'm doing right now. But it's the same concept. Mustard. And onion. Now use a Hawaiian sweet roll. Got your fries. Ecola. Bonissimo. Once again, we're talking about those big flavors, and I think we achieved that with this Coney Dog plate and also with this Coney Burger plate. Um, I wish you guys can smell the kitchen. I always say I wish I had smell of vision. And as you saw, we only used two spices, and that was the seasoning salt and also the Coney spice. And nothing like a good slam dunk. And baby, that was a slam dunk.